Good morning everyone and welcome to Wilma's first ever show vlog. I'm excited for two reasons. Firstly, obviously, because it's Wilma's first show. And secondly, because I'm about to reap the rewards of buying a bay horse instead of a grey. Finally. So we are going to our local venue again, Allen's Hill. This is basically spurred on because you'll see I went for a clinic there. God, the lighting in here is absolutely terrible. There you go. Um, earlier in the week. And I was like, oh, here, just look if I've got any competitions on. Because this week's a little bit quieter with um, filming. And yeah, they tend to have quite a lot on. And obviously I've got the empty horse box now, so I can go off and do fun things. Anyway, they had combined training on today. And I thought, you know what? That would be really good to take her to after she's been and seen the jumps. So basically I get to do a little dressage test on her and then we do a course of jumps. I've gone for 80, which I'm kind of regretting now. I don't know if that's going to be too big. Hello, darling. But because Wilma is an absolute field bird, we have come over early just to check her out for literally like, she can get for like 45 minutes. There goes her best friend. She's not finished, but should I just let her come out? Um, yeah, so that she can just like clear her head and then I'm going to bring her in and I'm going to plat her, even though it's like literally just a little local show and they don't make you plat. Um, I want to see what she looks like about it. Anyway, Wilms, you get to go in the field because you're bae and then I'll wash your legs off and get platting. Guys, I've tried to check as best as I can that I've not got Nutella on my face and in my teeth, but it's hard to do in a camera viewfinder, so Ooh. might not have been successful. Anywho, Wilma has had a little bit of time in the field. She'll go back out later when she gets home, but just wanted her to have a little bit of zen time. I think it always chills them out. Um, anyway, I'm gonna catch her now, wash her legs off. Now, annoyingly, I know I've just flexed about having a bay and how much easier it is, but she is an absolute swamp monster. Like, she loves getting muddy. So she is caked in mud of her legs and you're not coming. Winnie is actually back in work now though, which is exciting, although I'm yet to get on her. I've just been doing groundwork. Um, the mud seems to really stick for Wil to Wilma for some bizarre reason. So that's a bit annoying and it's like all over her face, but it's fine, Wilmy Woo. We'll get it sorted. What have you seen? What have you seen? I'm a bit worried that she thinks she's going hunting, guys. Come on then, let's get you in. Come on then! Oh, I forgot to do a platting reveal, guys. Thank you, Hobbs. Look how pretty she looks. Come on then, Will Will. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Well done. Well done. Good girl. That's a clever girl. You are so good. Good girl. <laughs> I know, no one else is invited to this party though, it's just you. Next time. Next time. Good for you and we just go together. Uh, good luck guys. Thank you. First adventure on your own hay feet. Is You're it? in charge. Oh, no, no, no. I was going to say, we've got <laughs> no <laughs> Hobbit and no Han, it's literally me. Really <laughs> bit scary. Back. Life is all downhill from here, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I know. Poor feet. <laughs> Let me go and grab Winnie. <laughs> all right, we are very close. We're actually, well, we're making really good time and we are going to be there on time. However, I've obviously not really factored in the fact that normally I have amazing Hobbs or Han to like do bits with the horse while I get changed but seeing as we've got Granolins Media here who is strictly on the camera duty although you might have a bit of pony holding on the really? tiny a tiny bit a tiny bit of pony holding just for like getting on and stuff. Okay. I've got a newfound respect. Everyone that goes competing by themselves, fair play because there is so much more to like just think about and like normally we'd get the horse straight off and mum would be walking it around while I get changed and like faff about. Um, but yeah, we can't we can't do all of that today. But it's gonna be fine. We've got 45 minutes, we're literally like five minutes away. So I'll have a good a good 40 minutes and I don't really think Wilma's gonna need very much warming up because she still gets tired quite easily. So yeah, we'll just see. This is very much like a seeing where we're at kind of situation. I saw this like very last minute's competition. 
trip I thought would be really good to go to, especially after she's been here the other day. She's seen all the fillers, it's like fresh in her head. And we're just doing Prelim 12, which is in Short Arena. Nice, easy, sweet test, like very similar to like a B90 test. Um, and yeah, I normally get, they, they normally have really good judges here that give you quite a lot of feedback. So I thought it'd be just nice to see. Since we're coming to the end of the year, see where we're at so that when, when 2024 rolls around, uh, we've kind of got like a base level to work up from. So very excited. It's been, feels like it's been a long time coming. I think we've had her maybe six weeks. That's Pete's phone. <laughs> that was actually your phone. No, is it my phone? Yeah. You better be holding on to that. I thought I was. Yeah, you were. Yeah, about a six weeks. Must have been about that. Maybe longer. Maybe it's been seven. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, very excited to get her out for her first competition and just want to see what it's like. What she's like in boards, what she's like in atmosphere. Looking forward to it. Right, cameraman. Over and out. You don't say over and out. Why? Because. Over means carry on the conversation and out. So you're basically saying carry on the conversation. And Why do they say over and out? It's, a movie, it's a movie thing, it's not not real really? life. Yeah, yeah. What does that mean then? That means finish the conversation. So you're saying carry on what the does conversation. Over, mean? over to you to oh, carry on the conversation. Oh, so when they say like, is it in place, over? Yeah, yeah. That means that they you to finish, reply. Yeah, they finish speaking, that's over to you. And then out just means end of conversation, so you're contradicting yourself. But so the film's. So when. So when you actually want to end the conversation, you don't really say anything because I've never heard someone say out. Yeah, were well you meant to? Mm, I don't know. Fact check this at home. Is it still recording? Yeah. Yeah, fact check this, guys. I don't know. I know. It's my, it's doing my job for four years. Oh, my. Weird that, because why would you finish if you want to keep talking? Why would you say over? Because it's, it's, it's a it makes it word. sound like that's the end of the conversation. No, it's over for them and it's over to you, so it's like. Over it's to a, you. It's oh, I get it. All right, well, there you go, a little fun Christmas fact for you guys. There you go, ruin your little <laughs> outro for the yeah, little that. segment. Stick with live, laugh, love you, I think. Yeah, purple. Okay, we've had to, it's quite busy, we've had to park quite near the road. <laughs> hey, Wilms! Um, so, yeah, I think it's safe to say that Pete and I spent the remainder of the journey discussing radio etiquette. I literally had no idea that over and out wasn't a thing. Here you go, baby. Good girl. Are you okay? Right, you stay in there. And I'm going to quickly get changed. I know. I know, but you can see now. You can see where you are. Oh, I need a wee. Da da da. Shock horror. Cameraman is still setting up the camera. Hey, right on cue. Right, I need to get her off. You okay? Yeah, good. Should we swap? Yes. It's the first time you put that ramp down, isn't it? <laughs> first time I've done a lot of things, Pete. <laughs> Whoa! Ooh, come on! You could have done that really, Pete. Done what? Gone in there and got a bridle on for me. Behave. She says, oh, okay, I'm at a horsey place. I understand. Do you remember, you were here literally, like, earlier this week. Remember? to lose cameraman for a minute so I can get tacked off and get my saddle on and then we'll return to vlogging.
alright, I think it'd be a case of trying to contain her from looking around and actually keeping my leg on. How are we doing time, honey? 10 to. Oh, cool. Brilliant. Smashing it. Wilma's first competition. Exciting times. Just quickly, guys, Pete was trying to do two cameras at the same time, bless him. So we filmed the whole test on the tripod camera, which is what this is. And then we did get some slow mo. So apologies that we miss the odd corner. So I promise it was really windy this day, despite the trees looking super still. But just bear that in mind. And to the right hand side, where you can't see, there's like a massive, like, Oh, I don't know, like construction yard. It's so busy, there's machinery everywhere. There was people working because it was midweek and there was tarpauling over everything. So keep in mind that was flapping around. So I was actually really pleased with how she started because she's never been in this arena and at Allen's Hill you have to go away from the warm up and this is like tucked behind so she cannot see a single other horse. So she was really good at leaving them. I think this is where we have a little spook. Yep. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear the cat, guys. They're going a bit crazy. Again, that spook was just at some top, but lots of positives because you can see it really didn't phase her at all. Like she came back to me and she started working again. She was just a little bit wary of this corner, which is completely understandable. I think looking at this, you, obviously there's so much room for improvement, but her attitude towards it is really nice. I think I need to have her sort of working a little bit rounder. I sometimes, I feel like she's round, but looking back at the footage, I could definitely have her kind of a little bit lower in the frame, a bit more connected, sort of working over her back. Again, the walk work, she's just getting a little bit distracted. Like if I actually had her down and through <laughs> there, she's like, are you sure I should go to the top, mum? Um, but she's almost like creeping along a little bit here rather than actually walking properly. So this is our free walk again. Like I'm seeing lots of positives for the future. She's actually got a really lovely walk. And when I read the judges comments at the end, you'll, you'll see that the judges really liked all of her paces, which is very, very, very rewarding. So up into the trot and yeah, look how quickly that canter transition comes up. It's so random. I find that with some of the British dressage tests, everything just comes up like a lot quicker than eventing. So in canter, absolutely adore this horse's canter. Like again, it's all a work in progress and I'm excited to look back at this even at the end of the season and hopefully see a massive improvement. But you get these kind of glimpses where she's in a nice frame and she sits on her hocks and it just suddenly there's like this beautiful picture and it only lasts for a stride or two strides but the important thing is that it's in there again like the canter transition came up really quick possibly too quick for her at this stage but again i kind of like keeping keeping their brains a bit busy especially when it's spooky and she's looking around it's actually it can be quite handy to have those kind of transitions coming up thick and fast just to keep her engaged and actually sort of focusing on me guys also while i've got you for a minute i need your opinion so this is my first time wearing this show jacket it's from lemire it's absolutely lovely i really really like it really comfy i just don't know how i feel about it being in black i'm always a navy gal and i don't actually know if the black suits me maybe it's because i'm wearing a black jacket and white breeches whereas normally i'm navy jacket and beige breeches it's just a lot of change anyway up the center line ready for our first ever halt together in between the boards and oh my word i hadn't watched this back but wow oh i didn't realize her halt was that pretty oh i'm so proud of her yeah overall absolutely chuffed especially with conditions again i know it looks like a very still day but <laughs> i promise it was super duper windy you can even see my jacket going there but absolutely chuffed with her and I think there is plenty more to come with her.
Right guys, our first ever dressage test. Bless her, she was very spooky, but cannot blame her at all. So there's like literally a construction site there. Like, is it construction site? Well, there's like loads. A yard. Of, yard, that's the word. So there was loads of like machinery and right up in the top corner, there was some machinery covered in literally like a blue flappy tarp. So it was just flapping like mad because the wind is crazy up there. It's not that bad here, but it's really windy up there. So um, yeah, we had some spooks and she was just, she just went a little bit green, but really pleased with her. And yeah, it's certainly like, she just needs to out and do all of this. She's just not got the experience. So coming to do these kind of shows where it is spooky, it's really good because we can actually ride through it a bit. So yeah, very, very pleased. I'm gonna sling some boots on her, change my gloves, and then we'll go and show jump. into the show jumping now are we going to judge pete for this footage no he was trying to work two cameras are we going to question his inability to move the tripod yes yes we are i'm only messing of course so if you watched my training video from a little while back you will notice that these are the exact same jumps in fact possibly the exact same course that she has already been around. So we definitely had good prep for this little competition. She'd already seen everything. So I was pretty confident that she wasn't gonna to be too lucky at the fillers. So my main kind of focuses was trying to keep more of a rhythm and kind of just gauge what she's like, where's she gone? Where's she gone, Pete? Yep, she's gone. So she did jump that one beautifully and she's back. <laughs> um, yeah, and just kind of gauge what she's actually like at a competition. Every time you take a young horse out, it's a learning experience. So I'm just trying to sort of build a picture of how she behaves, how she reacts, if she's spooky, if she looks to the outside, if she rushes, does she back off fences, all of those kind of things. But to my absolute delight, you'll see she's actually sort of keeping a nicer rhythm, I think, than when she sort of trains. Because sometimes once she's already jumped the fences, she can get a little bit brushy. Whereas here, we're staying in a nice canter. We're meeting everything nicely in our stride. And yeah, she's nowhere to be seen. Oh, there she is. <laughs> jumped that one really sweetly. Again, just paint the picture in your minds, guys, of what she's doing around the corner. I'm sure she will. There she is come back into and she's gone again um and i think annoyingly this next fence is the one that i did mess up but you might not see that i <laughs> just laughing there we go yep so i did a classic take a little meg pull and we had a bit of a miscommunication on that last one and yeah then we did jump another fence poor pete i do feel bad because he was actually operating the slow-mo camera as well as this one and bless him he didn't even realize the course was over he was trying so hard to get me did you jump over the finish or the wrong one i did i thought that was the finish over there no what no i'll be on that the finish is see there and there oh i see okay <laughs> <I'm so Clear. laughs> you leave you panic then yeah. Right there, if you want it. Oh, yes, please. It's not our breakfast yet. I'm not so happy with her first competition. So, things I've learned is that Wilma definitely hots up when she gets into an arena, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it's just good knowledge to have. Can you just zoom out? Because I my hands are full. So. Am I too zoomed in? Yeah, yeah. You just... No, wrong way. <laughs> you just zoomed in on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Was that alright? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so she's both in the dressage and the show jumping. She like potted up a little bit. Um, but no, I'm so pleased with that show jumping round. She was really, really good, really mm -hmm. honest, really bold. We had, uh, I think there was only one like major hiccup, which was the second to last fence. Cause I, I just felt her die a bit on me over fence 10. So I was like, gave her a little tap down the shoulder and was like, come on, let me sort two more fences. 
and then she turned towards home and was like Vroom! and I just wasn't expecting it so we had a bit of a miscommunication but it was very positive because she tried her absolute hardest to get me out of trouble for it and she did like she still got clear over the oxer you got her home I, I can take her um so yeah really positive sign because she gets in there and she wants to leave the fences up so it's nice to know a she's super forgiving when i mess up like she's still like oh like we're in this together um and b yeah she wants to keep those fences up which always helps in an event horse doesn't it so don't touch my nose good girl so we'll get her sponged off and then hopefully i'll pick up my sheet and see if you got placed my darling overall though chuffed so pleased i bought her and it's so nice like having this venue the fact that i can come and train here earlier in the week and then come and do this little competition at the end of the week it's just really good for young horses like so confidence giving so yeah massive thank you to alan hill for putting these shows on got one right let's get you sponged off my darling You are such a little angel, Wilhelmina. Good girl. I'm just munching a carrot, guys. I earned it. Right, should we find you a bit of grass or something, my little one? Yeah? Yeah? She's so good. I was going to take these plaits out, but it's quite sad taking them out. This is the first time I've seen her plaited. And she looks adorable. <laughs> Our first rosette! We came second! Did you? Yeah, how good is that? What Thank a little you. legend. Really nice comments. Obviously, you know, we've lost some marks. We've got a four and like a few sixes where we spooked and she got a bit tense. But the thing that's made me most excited is the judge's first comment in like the judge's comments bit is super moving horse! Good girl. So super moving horse showing some promising work. Just a little tense at times, but lots to like in this test. So good. She looks buzzed. <laughs> Are you gassed? Are you, she's a so mine, she's a so mine. Don't care. <laughs> good girl. No, really chuffed for that. And you can see there a bit, guys. Loads Where and loads of comments. Well, I just wanted to show that there's loads of writing. Like, there you go. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. So it's just, it's nice to, like, that's all stuff that we can go and now work on. Big sheet. And compare with our next test. I know. Well, it's when you do. BD, even though it's a BD, but like a BD test. Right, Wilma, shall we do the all important rosette on the head puller for the first time? Are you ready? Is this going to be all right? Don't want to freak out. Oh, well done, you did so good. You did so good. Woo. Right, darling, let's get you home, my little angel. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed seeing when we got to our first competition. It is the first of many, I hope. Live, love, love you, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.